everyone welcome back to my channel hello if you're new here it's lovely to have you and I hope that you stick around and subscribe so that you get a little notification every time I upload a new video I do have to apologize <laughs> which I feel like the last couple of vlogs that is all I've done obviously I set out the challenge to upload a new video every day in June and the last few days I failed it <laughs> massively um I was all set to come back like I'd missed like two days I think I'd missed like one last week and then one this week and I was all set to come back yesterday which would have been Wednesday but I edited and uploaded a video to go up at 6 p.m. and I don't know if it was the heat or baby brain or what, but somehow I managed to schedule it to go up tonight instead. <laughs> and by the time I realised it was like 11 o'clock at night, so I was like, there's no point in putting anything up. One sec. Um, yeah, so complete failure on my part. Um, to give you just a little bit of an update with, you know, Nanny in the background. She's absolutely fine. She's just playing with her toys. Um, to give you a bit of an update, <laughs> she keeps going, mum, mum. Um, the reason, or the main reason, why I didn't upload videos on those other days is purely because of the heat wave. I'm not going to lie. Um, anyone that's got young children will know that it is super, super stressful and a very busy time with a little one and a heat wave. Um, Nelly wasn't sleeping. She, thankfully, like, she was drinking. I'm pleased about that, because quite a few people had said that their little ones weren't drinking. Um, but Nelly has got her head screwed on. She was drinking, unlike me, who wasn't drinking that much. Um, she's trying, basically, what she's trying to do, she's got those toy keys, and she's trying to fit them in her mouth. But they are bigger than her mouth. Um, yeah, so the heat just kind of like put a stop to everything. I couldn't put Nelly down very often. Like we had to be constantly doing stuff. She's had to sleep on my bed during the day, like for her naps, because everywhere else we put her, she was just absolutely roasting, especially in a Moses basket, because obviously the shape of it keeps the heat in. Um, yesterday was definitely by far the worst, but I had both fans running all day and I don't think I did too bad until it hit about 
four o'clock I'd say, Nelly had fallen asleep on our bed and the camera just come, kept coming up with a warning saying it was way too hot for her. Um, so that was a little bit of a stressful time, but I am pleased and I never thought I would say this, but A, it's a lot cooler this morning and B, it's raining. Only a little bit, it doesn't have to be a downpour, but just enough to, one sec. Um, yeah, so it's not like hammer it down, it's just a little bit drizzle, which is actually quite nice and which will hopefully reduce the temperature slightly. So yeah, it is 20 to 10 now. I've literally just had my breakfast, you would have seen. Um, I'm just gonna sit, watch a bit of YouTube, and enjoy my cup of tea, hopefully while it's still warm. I don't know whether to get Nelly to do tummy time or not because I don't want her to get too hot and sweaty. Um, so I might leave that until like later on. But let me tell you, this house is an absolute state because we just haven't been able to do anything like there's stuff everywhere and I mean stuff everywhere so my goal in this vlog just drop the keys again my goal in this vlog is to try and bit blitz the place a little bit just go room by room Nelly will just have to sit in the rooms with me when she's awake um and we'll just get it done together Fingers crossed, Nelly is just gone down for a nap and she is asleep. I have tidied a little bit in here. Well, I've basically done this room. There wasn't really much to do in here. This was the only room that was relatively tidy um, because it's the room that like we've been in all the time. Um, so yeah, like it wasn't too, too bad. I just need to find a home for Ash's father's sake. I can't remember if I showed it in a vlog, but how cute is this? This is a photo that Ash took of Trix, which I just think is adorable. She's in like a little bluebell field. So cute. Um, and then the other one is like with all different photos on. So um, this was from her first holiday. This was at Midlands Airfest, as was that one, that one, and that one, which by the way, how cute like they literally look the same in that um and then that one was from western supermare when we got the caravan we went out for the evening because it was just way too hot then um and that's one of the things i miss about living by the coast maybe i spoke too soon <laughs> um but yeah that's one of the things i miss about living by the coast is the fact that you can just head there and it's just a little bit cooler, a little bit breezier, not much, um, but just like a little bit compared to where we're to now. Like, it'd be like a two hour journey to even get to a beach, so it's not doable at the minute. Um, funny enough, mum and dad have taken trips to the beach for a few days in their motorhome, so at least she's getting some cool air. Um, but yeah. I think next job I'm going to try and tackle is the pile of stuff that I've had on my list for like two weeks and that is the diffuser, I need to try and work out how to set that one up and I still need to try and get those videos off of the old video camera so I'm going to have a quick go now and then if I can't do it I'm going to revisit it but at least I've like tried you know um, because yeah this weekend we are going down south we are uh, um, sorting through Nan's house on Saturday um, just because Nan basically she loved a gadget she was very much that typical housewife that would be ordering stuff from the catalogues and yeah she's got every gadget going so I know she's got several types of blenders like hand blender and things like that so I'm gonna go through and see if there's one that I can have for Nelly starting her weaning journey, which is super, super scary. Um, I did also buy some like pots and stuff and spoons from Boots the other day. Um, but I'm just waiting for the rest of my Boots order to arrive, which will probably arrive soon considering 
Um, Nelly's just gone down for a nap. You can guarantee there's going to be a knock on the door and it will wake her up. Yeah, I think I will probably do like an updated what I've bought Nelly recently haul because I have bought her quite a few different bits for like the age that she is now, which I can't even remember if I've mentioned this, but she's five months now. Which, oh, that has gone so, so bright. Um, yeah, she's five months now, which is mind blown. Absolutely mind blown. I can't believe it. I have a five month old. She'll soon be six months. Scary how quickly it's gone. Really, really scary. But I've enjoyed every single moment, even the like hard days, you know. All she's got to do is give me a smile and it's all forgotten. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to crack on and do those couple of bits and see if I can work them both out. Wish me luck. Now, I don't want to speak too soon. However, Nelly is asleep. I may have found a way to get the videos off of the old video camera. I just need to see if they play once I've unplugged it all, etc. And the diffuser is working away. How cute is that? I actually really like it. I really, really like it. I'm so glad mum got me this one. Which, if you're wondering, sorry about the rust on the box. It's not shite, I promise. It's rust um, from something that was lent up against it. But if you're wondering, it is the Silent Night Ultrasonic Aroma Diffuser. And yeah, it is really quiet, I have to say. I've had some of them can be like really noisy. Um, but yeah, that's the one I've got. Scent wise, I'm just using Golden Vanilla scented oil, um, which I think I got from B&M, I want to say. Um, I'm sure it was the B&M one. We went over to Cheltenham. I'm sure it was that one. Um, it was a four pack anyway, so yeah. Just a few drops of that in there. It smells lovely and yeah, I'm happy. Also, I did have a parcel arrive. It wasn't my boots one, but it is a very exciting one for Nelly anyway because I ordered this baby Einstein like jumperoo type thing. It's like an under the sea one which looks absolutely adorable. And it was an absolute bargain. I've ordered it off of eBay. Um, it was literally eight pound delivery, that was it. And then it was 50, no it wasn't even that, it was 42 pounds and eight pound delivery. I haven't opened the box yet, so obviously, I don't know fully if the condition as on the listing is correct, but fingers crossed it is, because basically all that was wrong with it was some of the paint was coming off of like the octopus's hat and a couple bits like that, and obviously the fact that it was used. Um, so fingers crossed that is all that is wrong with it, if you like. It's not really wrong with it, it's just showing wear and tear. Um, because I've been after that one, for ages and there's been a couple on Facebook marketplace that are like 60 quid um but they never like reply to their messages like ever I'm like if it's not available just take the listing down um but they never respond so I've given up on Facebook marketplace for now um and yeah to buy it brand new when I looked at it it was like 150 pounds so I was just like I'm not paying that for like a toy no way Am I paying that? I didn't even pay that for like pretty much most of Nelly's stuff. I think the only thing that cost more than that was a pram and car seat. Everything else was less than that, including pretty much her mattress. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not going overboard with the price. Um, I have also ordered Nelly some more of the splash about like happy nappy, um, like nappy cover and all in one which she wears for swimming I've ordered it in the next size up because it was getting a little bit small so I thought I can pack away the small one as sad as that is and get the new one out when it arrives again second well slightly second hand the happy nappy itself is second hand the overall thing like wetsuit whatever you want to call it because they're like fleecy lined are they um I got it off of Vinted, but it says it was brand new without tags, so, you know, bargains. And yeah, I think I literally just paid 
£15 for both. So considering I thought a bargain was when I paid like £25 for both a few months ago, but I've got it even cheaper now. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's been a good day so far. But yeah, I'm super, super happy that that jumper roof has arrived because I was worried that it was going to arrive when we went here and none of the neighbours would take it in. Um, and obviously it's a bit big to have just sticking out, which yeah, wouldn't be good. Um, but right now I'm just going to pop into the nursery. Yep, she's still breathing. <laughs> I get so nervous. Um, yeah, I'm just going to pop into the nursery and sort out, I say sort out, it's absolute chaos in here. Um, it's like organised chaos, that's the annoying thing. Like, I'll just show you. Excuse my knickers. Um, I've got like dry washing here and down here that needs to be packed away. And I think the majority of this is probably dry now, but I think I might do a wash load um, in a little bit because my mine and ashes wash basket is actually quite full and I normally do it on a Friday but I thought if I do it today then that's just one less thing to do tomorrow um so yeah that is kind of that chaos um camera bag I still haven't even downloaded my photos from the previous weekend and I've got another event this weekend so that's always fun um ah there's my hat this is the hat that I got got ash to get me for Christmas so it's just like a play on Top Gun and it says Top Mum. Um, and that tractor toy just needs to go back on her pram. I think the majority in there is rubbish. And then I was going to use that basket for Nelly's bath toys just to tidy them up a bit. Because I'm worried one's going to like fall off the shelf and end up in the loo or something. Something stupid like that. I've got a pile of dresses that I just want to hang up of the back of the door in here. And my cardigans can just be shoved back in that suitcase which I use to house clothes. This is the bag that I always put in Nelly's stuff that doesn't fit anymore. I've got a couple bits to put in there, but not much at the minute. That is, this bag here is a bits and pieces that Ash's niece kindly gave Nelly. Um, all different things in there that were hers. She had a little bit of a clear out and gifted them to Nelly, which was super, super cute. Um, loads and loads of boxes which I'll explain about another time. I've got a record player down here, which Mum very kindly got me for Christmas. However, my records are all at Mum's, so I haven't bothered taking it out of the box at the minute. And then, yeah, this is like the chaos. So this is all like stuff that ordinarily we would store in like a cupboard or um, like a unit, something like that. And we don't have anything like that here, so it's all just stacked in the corner, which is a bit of a pain. Um, this is a big bag of stuff that I need to put on eBay and Vinted, but I need to get the printer working before I can put it on Vinted. Um, and then these two boxes and this down here um, is all stuff that is already on eBay, the box for the baby monitor, because I don't want to get rid of that because I can pack it back in it when we no longer use it. Um, <laughs> Ash's monkey from when he was a little boy. This is the ladder from the caravan. Um, ideally, I would quite like to find somewhere else for it to go, but I am tempted to move some of this stuff out when Ash is here because it's not necessarily a safe job lean that ladder against the wall and see if I can get the blind that was a bird um see if I can get the blind down on here to make this room just that little bit cooler um because the blinds like you'll have seen them in the bedroom they don't block out the light by any means but I just thought it might block out some of the sun because right now it's roasting in here um this is all dry clothes of Nellie's that needs to pack away and then yeah this is just like how we've been having the cot um as like just storage and I know I'm not the only person that does that but I also need to try out the mattress in the cot to make sure I've definitely ordered the right size before it's too late to do anything about it so yeah I need to kind of test that out I've also got a couple of sheets that I need to then make sure fit the mattress um and then we need to dismantle this cot 
to get it into our bedroom and move some of the furniture and stuff from our bedroom into here um, so that there's space for this because, yeah, Nelly has definitely, definitely grown out of her Moses basket pretty much in like a couple of weeks time I reckon it'll be way too small she's like on the cusp still at the minute um but I want to kind of put this in our room talk of the devil I think she's awake um put this in our room and then put the Moses basket inside it just so that she gets used to being in something like that and then transferring her just into that afterwards so I kind of want to get it done sooner rather than later although that'll probably be next week because I don't think we're going to have a lot of time to do it but yeah that's what my mum and dad did with me and it seemed to work and I know quite a few other people have done it as well so I'm gonna give that a go um she's gonna look so so tiny in this like she won't even go halfway but the good thing is it's a cot bed so it will last a little while you know um so yeah and then that's about it I think really um, I don't quite know what to do. I've had to just hire. So basically we've got double glazing, um, that you have to add in. So it's like single glazing now. And then you add in these like glass panels when it's cold. Well, obviously it's not cold anymore. So we've taken them off. Um, and yeah, I've just had to stand some of there and some of behind the wardrobe in the corner because I just don't quite know what to do with them. They're a bit of a pain, to be honest. I was quietly protective of my heart to reassure that I could break to pieces and be left alone once more. If you hadn't been so patient, you'd be easy to ignore. You put up with all my bullshit till you didn't anymore. And now I stand here calling at your door. Oh, now I stand here calling at your door. Yeah, I'm yours anywhere you want. Yeah, I'm yours. And now we're singing. I have been too self-involved Been protective of my feelings But somehow you made me fall You got underneath the surface And you shattered every wall And I know I got that feeling There's no question anymore And now I stand here Obviously, it doesn't look the best, but at least all my dresses are all together and I can just grab them as and when I need to. Um, yeah, I definitely think that's going to be a lot easier than it just being like shoved and screwed up on the floor. So at least they're all hanging and hopefully the creases will fall out. I'm looking forward to wearing this like rust coloured one at some point, but I'm not comfortable enough with my body just yet to wear it, but fingers crossed soon. Would lie to you, doesn't matter what I do. She's got a hold on me. She knows how to drive a truck, but she lets me pick her up when we're going dancing. My heart stops beating when my headlights shining on her. She's my country girl. I couldn't tell you what she's doing with me. She's so damn out of my league. She's a little bit crazy on the weekends. Dancing in her red dress. And I love the way she looks in my eyes. And I'm feeling like midnight's getting closer. And I just want to hold her in my arms till the sun comes up. She's a little bit crazy. Yeah, she's my kind. The moment of truth. 
three. Not to the left. Oh, we're at Tank Pass here. That's really creepy because that's where I'm going to on Sunday. <laughs> uh, that's probably not the best one to check on because it's all like thingied, but. So, I think, I may have sorted it, but the question is, oh, my only other issue is they haven't got the dates on, oh, if I hover, do they have the dates on? It's going to be a bit of a guessing game, I reckon. Does it say when it was originally done? No, so it's going to say it's created here. That's annoying. Right. Ah, that's the video I'm looking for. Did it come out all right? Oh, my God. I used to be so shaky with videos. But it's playing. I mean, it's the shittest quality I've ever seen. It's not really. It's just because my video camera is a 4K camera. So, like, now I'm looking at home footage. I'm like, what the hell? Um, that's taken me, like, six years, I'd say, to get this footage off the camera. And I've literally just thought, oh, I'll plug this in. Have a go. And it worked most bizarre thing the only thing I'll need oh, need to possibly try and do is put it onto my phone to see if they'll play because the quality is different and the recording not set up but like speed etc is probably different to what we use now um, but I've saved it that is the main thing oh Sea King when it was still flying. What the hell? Oh, that's a hunter that don't fly anymore. So yeah, just to put it into context, these video clips are from 2014. Um, and the reason I was so conscious about not damaging the footage, etc. Um, was purely because it had the... Canadian Lancaster, which if you're not into aviation, you probably won't give two dams about, so apologies about this little chat. Um, but it had the Canadian Lancaster that, oh, it's got Madeleine Brown on there, um, came over for its tour and they, f oh, they flew the two Lancasters together and the chances are, certainly my mum and dad's age, won't see that again and to be honest I don't think I'll ever see it again so I was really conscious I didn't want to lose that footage um but I've just found footage of Laurie Park with the kangaroos what else have we got I'm a bit worried now because there could be all sorts of videos on it the Vulcan that I don't fly anymore Harriers Red arrows still fly. Meteor crumbs. This could be Farnborough. It's the only place where a lot of airliners fly. I think I've literally filmed the whole, the whole of the air show. Which, to be fair, is what I used to do, and now I can become a bit stuck. Um, <laughs> flying balls. <laughs> I've just seen them. This is probably the most boring thing ever, but oh my god!
I didn't expect that. That is more special than any other colour. Oh, it's basically a clip of my nan before she had the dementia. Really show my nan like how she was. Oh, let's go back to planes before I start blubbering again. I did also want to just show you, I just got a little PR parcel. Um, I'm actually working with two different companies within this PR parcel. Um, so the first is Fair It Is 5-in-1 Eye Care. Now this is perfect if you are going on holiday or like I'm going to take it with me at the weekend because we're doing tank fest and I know it's going to be really dusty and gritty etc um, and it's for irritation and redness it's some eye drops it says it relieves irritation reduces redness eases stinging whitens your eyes which I'm not too fussed about mine to be fair mine are pretty white unless I start crying too much and protects and it says contact lens friendly just says relieves irritated burning or red eyes um, so yeah that is the first one and the second pack is by a company called Dentec which funny enough when it arrived um, a little while ago now Ash took one look at it and he was like I've used some of that stuff before like from this company and what he'd actually used was the is it called Temparin Max repair kit for lost fillings caps and crowns well I don't have anything like that in my teeth right now touch wood <laughs> I've managed to keep all of my teeth so far and to be fair I'm not likely to get a fill in a crown or a cap because I haven't got a dentist so there's no chance of that we won't even go there with the NHS dentist situation at the minute um but yeah so he had used that so it's a temporary tooth repair ideal for travel 12 plus repairs so got that one um also got some cross flosser eco-friendly plant blade pat I can't get that word huh? plant based floss picks um removes 80% more plaque removes food plaque and massages gums they actually look really nice I can't wait to test these out I've never seen plant based ones before because I've got some in the cabinet at the minute in the bathroom um, and they're very very plastic they're certainly not eco-friendly in the slightest so I'm actually really excited to try this out so yeah if you're more environmentally conscious definitely want to try and also eco-friendly I've got some comfort picks as well um, it says it has a travel, oh yeah it does, a travel case for on the go. These I like to keep in my handbag because you know when you've got something stuck in your teeth and it's really bugging you. Um, yeah, I love these. But it says that Dentec has gone green, which is good because I would imagine a lot of their products before were very bad for the environment. So it's nice to see that they are um, doing their bit. It says that it features handles made from 100% recycled plastic, which eases demand on fossil fuels, fuels and reduces carbon emissions. Includes a recyclable hygienic travel case made from recycled materials. We've also ensured that our packaging can be widely recycled, made from FSC certified cardboard and 50% recycled PET. Good to know. So yeah, definitely check them out if you are in the market for either dental stuff or for eye drops as well. Don't forget the ferretiers. Um, yeah, I need to actually sit down and do what I need to do with that. Maybe tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to get a chance to today. Oh, Nelly is just waking up. I don't think I'm going to get a chance to today because tomorrow is Ash's dad's birthday but we're traveling down south so we're gonna pop over and see oh see him tonight so I might be able to do it maybe tomorrow if Nelly naps I need to say it quietly because if she knows I want to do something tomorrow she won't nap 
but yeah, she is very much awake. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and get her and carry on sorting out the house, etc. Your windscreen is filthy. Prick. I just find it rather pretty. <laughs> about you <laughs> you still love me yes i do still love you bloody women what? can you please tell that one that it needs to go out get back over there to the kitchen oh. <laughs> oh, that's cheeky